If you hadn't drank water already, go drink some water. I've been in the video film and creative industry for a while now, and I've had the opportunity to work on some amazing projects like commercials, short films, spec ads, music videos. And over the years, I've realized that not everything is as it seems. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about three underrated aspects of filmmaking I wish I knew sooner. Number one is location scouting. Prep is super important and location scouting is part of this process. You wanna know where you're shooting and you wanna know beforehand so that you can plan for it and just make sure that the location works. For example, me as a DP, I look for a couple of things. Is the location even gonna work for what I want? What lights are in the space, if there are any? Is there any natural light coming in? And at what position is the sun gonna be? And let's quickly talk about what you'd look as a production manager, a producer, cause I do that as well. It's mainly just the logistics of the space. If there's stairs, if there's elevators, if there's parking, is it free or not, as well as how much room the space will have to store crew, equipment, and basically whatever I'm going to be bringing to set. Production design and wardrobe. Let's start with production design. The reason I want to put a bit more money and emphasis onto production design and the art department in general is because it really helps sell where you're shooting. This also goes hand in hand with wardrobe. There's gonna be different styles for different eras. So you wanna make sure that production design department can help achieve that with their skills and with their sourcing of items and equipment. And the last thing is a very good colorist. I've actually had the opportunity to go into an actual color grading session just I think a week and a half ago and investing in a good colorist will help you elevate your footage and just make it so much better. And those are the three aspects, location scouting, wardrobe and production design, as well as a good colorist. Of course, with anything creative, it's gonna be very subjective and there are obviously a lot more than three underrated aspects. These are just the top three that I've actually experienced in the last couple of weeks on my shoots and productions. So I just wanted to give that information to everyone here. 